another quest free enhancement situation going on. I think we've played this game like a year ago or even more than that. It was also on previous headset or even further so it's gonna be pretty much upgrades all across the board I assume. Windlet has a specific art style that you can't necessarily level up. It's pretty much a matter of clarity, maybe some shadows or anti-aliasing going on, which seems like everything seems to be correct on the first glance, but we'll play the game as usual. <laughs> I think I also wanted to do a playthrough of it eventually. We shall see, but like, it's good to be back and let's see what is the situation. <laughs> I also classically need to remember the mechanics. But I think everything was relatively smooth, even on launch. The only weird situation was that a prequel released after the sequel, which happened maybe only once on the platform. Am I taking the correct direction? I think we just defeated like the first boss and now we're just exploring. Oh yeah, we also got a crystal of some sort. But I mean this game is expansive. The sense of scale and open worldish design but yeah with the resolution and everything it's stunning like for now I have no complaints Where are we going? Higher there, but... At least there are waypoints. At times it also might feel a bit empty. Cause the game was kind of designed to be a multiplayer experience. But it's still playable like that. I came from here. There's no map or anything. Ah yeah, now I see.
It's interesting there could be multiple pathways, but it almost looks the same. Hey, look! Big Guardian! I become Guardian one day. They say I cannot, but I train long. How many bots you kill? I bet you lot. Hey, you wanna play? Or can we come with you? Tanky bots not get past me. I'll stab them in the eye. They have lots of eye. Lots of target. <laughs> it's a village. Toe here made the right choice choosing you. Good work. The crystal. Show it to me. Quickly. Yes. One of the sacred crystals. I must return it to the shrine. The mountain shall sing once more. Two more crystals are required to reawaken the sacred mountain. Good luck, Guardian. A gateway bars the way to the other areas of the island. Our techsmith, Sarala, should be able to open it for you. Good luck, Hunter. The distances are crazy. No bot get past me. But I mean, if you're well versed in this kind of locomotion, it could be fast. Oh, those are checkpoints, okay. I'll run the mountain. So we're coming back to the same place. It's like this game is the definition of freedom. Just swinging around for no reason. I guess it's also a magic of it that You have no access to a map, so you rely on knowing the environment. that war machine look I got the power core back online on this one you'll be able to open it now see those glowing panels you just have to trigger each of them use that fancy uh, bow thing that you hunters carry wait the power core will need to be restarted but we need some additional parts to repair it scout the area out if you find the parts, bring them here, and I'll put a new core together for you. Funny enough, the world looks great. The models, not so much. Like, there's not much definition. Oh, I forgot I could also jump. Where are we?
Oh, wow. I guess we were on a mission. What are the enemies, though? Like, there are, but... I don't think in this specific scenario... on those are I think some special collectibles I also spawn in random places after the death Just pants. So it's about mastering the movement, which is a bit different in comparison to other swing games. Well, that's an eventful event for the video. <laughs> but overall, I can tell. It's like an upgraded version of the project overall. What was it? I mean, we see what's going on. Well, I said my part. It was just a reminiscence of what this game is really about which is just full-on exploration in a vast environment. 